It's that time of the month. Welcome back to Fresh Off the Set, guys. We have a really fun, I think, important, timely topic today. I am Sarah Jenkins. And I'm Alora Murray. Sarah said it perfectly. It is that time of the month. We are talking <laughs> about periods and other women's health issues, which honestly, we don't talk a lot about. No, we don't. I think it's so important. And I think that a really positive thing, and you're, you'll hear more about this discussed today, is, and this is a really important conversation that I hope really gets people continuing to talk about this is women's health in general, periods, um, our hormones, how we feel. I think everyone has different origin stories about, you know, when they first um, heard about periods themselves and the experience and how they felt about it. So I think that there's so much to be said. And I'm just, I'm really excited that we're going to be diving into this topic, Laura. And I, I'll tell you, Sarah, honestly, growing up, I felt like talking about your period was taboo. It was kind of like, you're going to have it this is what's going to happen. But we didn't talk about what was normal or what wasn't normal. And I remember going to my mom um, back then. It was in elementary school. We had something called maturation, and we learned about periods. And I went to my sweet mom, and I just cried. And I was oh. like, I will have this once a month for the rest of my life. Like, it's <laughs> sinking in. <laughs> like, I couldn't fathom. I was so scared. I didn't want to have it. And my sweet mom was trying to calm me down, trying to explain it to me. Um, because really, in school and at that time, pop culture, things around us, you didn't talk about it. Right. It wasn't spoken about and which is kind of crazy if you stop and think about it because it's something that literally 50% of the population experiences as women and it, it's funny but it's also sad that you know when you hear that this is something that you're going to be experiencing you know it's it's universal for women so I think it'd be so great if we could start having these conversations and really just like what to expect you know and this is our bodies and there's nothing weird about it. It's natural. So I think um our guest who will be coming up, she'll shed more light on that, but her, um, her name is Jess and she started Mix Hers, which offers supplements for women who have different um, hormonal changes and, you know, maybe discomfort with their periods. And Carrie will speak with her shortly. But yeah, I think growing up for me, when I first heard about periods, I was equally as traumatized. I was like, what is this about? You know, just because there's so much misinformation out there. And it's, it's out there. We're going to talk about it a little more today. I've actually used mixers before. I've used the product. I really enjoy it. And I really enjoy, Jess is great, but I just really enjoy, like we've said over and over again right now, um, opening the conversation to not only to periods, but to other women's health issues. Right. I mean... I just think that knowledge is power, and when you can take control of your own health, you just, you're in control, and it's so great. Love so, it. So I'm let's excited. hear that interview. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I can't wait. Hi, I'm Carrie Hawker Diaz, and I am really excited to introduce to you our guest on our podcast today. She's amazing. She's a mama, she's an entrepreneur. She is Jess Toulson. Jess, great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. I feel like so lucky to be here today. We are so happy to have you. And um, you're a founder and CEO of Mixers. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't seen the billboards yet, you're going to see them. I've been <laughs> seeing them every time I drive. It. There, there's, there's a couple, right? Oh, yeah. Downtown? Yep. I love those so much. I bet you're getting a good reaction. We are, and they're doing exactly what we'd hoped, which is like making men sweat a little bit. They get a little <laughs> awkward. Like the texts I get from men that see them are so funny. Yes. And they're making women laugh, which is exactly what we wanted. So if anyone's listening and hasn't seen them, our billboards are back to back. It says, let's give your uterus. And then the next one is something to smile about. So I love it. Yeah. It's so good. Okay. And speaking of that, it, your company is Mixers. It's mm -hmm. M-I-X-H-E-R-S, Mixers. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's talk about just what that is. What is your company? Yeah, I love talking about our company, Mixers, because I was the OG Mixers girl. I was the woman that was desperately in need of these supplements and they weren't on the market. And so I went to work creating them, which Mixers in a nutshell is started as a product that was specific for women during their menstrual cycles. And that's our, that's our flagship product. That is why the company started. It's called Her Time because I suffered so much personally and I needed the, that solution. Then we expanded into a deep product line because we want to provide everything a woman needs from sunup to sundown. But everything is all natural and we form we formulate everything to be a positive product for women's hormones. Yeah, that's really what you do. I noticed that. Everything's like positive and positivity. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, her time, that's your most positive or 
popular Pop- product. Yep. Tell us about that product. Yeah. So her time is it's full of Chinese herbs, which when I was struggling with my menstrual cycles, I would go to the doctor. I love going to the doctor. I love seeking medical advice and medical yeah, care, Sure. but I wasn't finding the solution that was actually helping me feel my best. I felt like I was just surviving and I was no longer thriving. And at the time I was 24 years old. So I was postpartum with my three kids and I hadn't struggled previously with my menstrual cycles. And so I didn't really relate to my friends all growing up that would Mm -hmm. like miss out on dances or like fun parties or skip a date due to their period. Mm -hmm. But I became that girl postpartum with my kids. I, my, my menstrual cycles were putting me you know, in my bed for a few days. It's interesting what af- having babies after how uh, much your hormones do change. It was like night and day. I had like the worst cystic acne, which is, there's one thing to like suffer in pain and it's like debilitating and so frustrating. And I hate that women even experience that. But then there's also the second thing of like experiencing um, external pain um, and having everyone seeing this Where cystic it's acne. literally on your face. Yes. And then it's like you become timid, you become shy, which is just frustrating. And so I wasn't finding the solution. I was getting tossed around from medication to medication. Um, I wasn't feeling relief. I was feeling like I was getting put on medications that had negative side effects that I also wasn't liking. Mm. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be my own personal health advocate. And I had talked to so many women through these couple of years of just like this hormone health journey that I'm like, gosh, so many women need help. Like, why have, why has no one said to me, Jess, I have this solution. You need to try it. So I'm like, there's gotta be something new out there. So I went to work, kept having conversations and actually my now business partner, she's a holistic health practitioner. And it was when I went down like a rabbit hole conversation with her about what I was experiencing that she was like, Jess. I have the solution. I can help you, but will you trust me? And will you actually try these Chinese herbs? And I kind of giggled because I I wasn't into holistic health at the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the power of holistic health and I didn't know the power of like working side by side with your body. Um, And so I took her challenge and these herbs, this concoction of herbs completely changed my life in three short months. And so I approached her and said, we have to make this accessible. We need to get this in the hands of many women. And so we went, we went hard at work and here we are. We need all the help we can get with our periods. Yeah. We <laughs> so. sure do. And then also like we are not raised to know, like speak up about this. Mm-mm. It's not normal if you have X, Y, and Z. It's more like, hey, welcome to being a woman. Here's, don't really talk about it. Much. Don't really Here's talk about things. it. Here's some things and just kind of suck it up because it is what it is. And yeah. we are like flipping that over completely and being like, no more, no more. We're done. We're done with that. You are not supposed to just barely survive for two weeks, a full week, whatever out of every single month. That is not how we're supposed to be living. And all of those symptoms that women are experiencing are actually our body like screaming at us for help, but we're taught to just mask it with like some very, uh, just some Whatever pain medications. Right, yeah. right, right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's the, that's the specific product. That's, that's so cool to learn about you. Cause we had you on the show. Uh, I want to say it was like a couple months ago mm-hmm. and I loved you obviously. And so we wanted to talk to you more in depth, but this is so cool to see why you started this. So it's like literally from mm-hmm. your heart. Um, why this specific product? Is it because of your experience? Yeah. And why did you expand into other ones after that? I love this question. So I did not realize when I was seeking all this help that it would then turn into like me wanting my own company and like wanting to have this, uh, having this mission to like, to like change Mm -hmm. thousands, hopefully millions of women's lives. Like I had no idea that that this is what would come of it, but it did start from me just like pleading for personal help. Like I was still so young. I had toddlers at home. And I just wasn't willing to give up on a past life of like how I used to feel and how I used to love to go and do these things. And instead it was like, I was looking at life differently. Um, so that's why her time, because it's just, we need it. All women need it. But then we expanded and we, we had just her time for about a year. And then we expanded really quickly because thousands of women were feeling the health benefits of her time and 
were so grateful, just like I was personally, which is so great. (laughs) But then they requested from us, like, if I feel this great using her time, can you help us with X product? Like, I want to buy this from you guys. I need help with anxiety. I need help with sleep. I need help getting in my nutrients. I need help with staying hydrated. So women really were requesting from us. It's hard to be a woman sometimes. (laughs) Yes. So we loved that women were requesting from us to have, like, more products because they were wanting to purchase more with us. And I think most of that comes from us opening up and educating why our bodies are asking for, um, like these nutrients, why our body, like, why are we feeling this way? Well, a lot of it is because we're dehydrated. A lot of it is because we're not getting the right nutrients, but we educate about that. Um, and another top seller you guys will love to hear about is actually a product called her love. And it's a, it's a product for women in their low libido. Oh, and is this out and available, Jess? Oh, yeah. Yep. Her love. Oh, yeah. And it flies. Women love her love. This is But so that's good. another conversation where it was like, no, no, we don't talk about libido. Yeah. We don't talk about like women maybe having a lower libido. It's right. no mixers. We talk about it. We talk about it. And yeah. that's why we're here today, too, to talk about it. Yeah. Um, I imagine starting this company, and like you said, you didn't, you didn't really do this to start a company. You wanted to just find an answer to make you feel better in the mm-hmm. first place and to help other people. You probably had to jump through so many hoops. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that, like trial and error as a business owner at first. (laughs) Oh, so much trial and error, right? Um, Sometimes you wonder if you'll even get through the trial and error process. No, for us with supplements, like we, my business partner, her name is Cody Sanders. She's the holistic health practitioner. She's the one spending like hours and hours and hours dedicating time to like the proper formulation that has like all the right benefits, the ingredients that work synergistically together. So she does all that studying, Mm -hmm. but then it's my turn to come in to make sure it tastes good. And we work with, you know, the right manufacturers and the right people to help us develop a formula that that not only has these incredible benefits, but then also make it fun and easy and delicious. It tastes good. You're not just sticking a bunch of like fillers in there and gross things. Right. Exactly. So for us, We knew that we had the formula down, but my word, it did not taste good. It was so herby. It was so, you would like burp up the herb taste. It's like a powder. It was a powder. Yeah. So, but previously it was just a powder that my business partner would put in gel capsules and you'd swallow them. Oh. But then she wanted them to be in a liquid form because your body would absorb it better. So that's when we went to work making, like trying to work on something that could taste good. So we feel like we got there and that's when we launched her time. Um, Our first product was called Pure Berry. We had come a long way, but we quickly saw that if we're going to say it tastes good, like people have high expectations Mm. and they're comparing it to some other things on the market that have no good health benefits, but taste really good. So we had to go back and work and reformulate and trial and error about a billion other times. So you had released Try, it and yep. then had to bring it back in. Totally. We released it and people were using it and people that are used to taking some products that don't taste good, but they use them for like good health benefits. Yep. Loved it. They loved it. They would just chug it, whatever. And that was us. Like we used it because we knew the health benefits. But then when the average consumer is comparing it to like just a lemonade that's out mm-hmm. there on the market versus this that's jam packed with great herbs and it's tasting something like lemonade. They have a different expectation. And so we went back to work and now we've ta- made all of our mixers products, including her time jam packed with all the herbs taste so good. So good. Yeah. What are the flavors? Is there one flavor for mixers or what is it? So there's tons of flavors. So her time daily on its own has six flavors. And there's a different line that has um, three flavors. But when you go into like different products, like we have a Her Greens product, Greens, um, it has 14 different greens in it. We don't get enough greens. Yeah, we don't. We don't. There's like a, we have a bunch of different flavors of that product. We have a dun- bunch of different pla- uh, flavors. Sorry, my words are jumbling. Words are like, hard sometimes. Yeah, it's fine. Of like Her Power. So we like to give women um, great options for flavors. What, what do you take during the day? Like, what does Jess's day look like? Like, what are you loving? I know you love mixers. Uh, uh-huh. you love her time. Yep. But do you have like one that oh, do you I? just love? Yeah. Well, we love to call them mixers mocktails. So how oh. I start my morning. Yeah. So how I start my morning is I start my morning with my her time daily and I put it 
I put her power in it. It's a non-stimulant energy product. And that's my first mixer's mocktail of the day. And then I go later in the day and I do her greens and her defense together for my immune system and to get greens because you're so right. We do not get all the greens Mm -mm. we need. Mm -mm. And then later in the day, I'll do my her multi after lunch just so that it's not on an empty stomach. So I get my daily multivitamin. And then for sure, every single night I end with her nightly so I can get some good deep sleep. This is so cool to hear what your day is like with it. And this is this is like a true rock star where you're using your own products. Oh, that you sell, I so you better. I'm, I'm, <laughs> the, I'm the one that better be using it every day, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is your previous job? Did yeah. you have any training in this? No. Do you want to know what's so funny? Is Well, okay. I feel like I was trained in the life of motherhood because I know that I can manage multiple things at one time. Motherhood taught me that. So I was, I'm a mom of three. I still am a mother of three. When I started Mixers, I had actually left college to go and support my husband playing professional basketball in Europe. So we did that for 12 years. So I didn't get to finish college. Um, I got married pretty young. Um, I had taught dance. That was my previous job was teaching dance and I loved it. I taught dance to young kids, to teenagers. I would travel to different states and teach. But then it was really motherhood. And motherhood has taught me a lot of things that are very, very helpful for mixers. I feel like I come well equipped um, with handling high stress, with making lots of hard decisions. Yeah, that sounds like being a mom. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. With multitasking, a lot of things from motherhood have become so applicable to mixers. However, I do know that um, I'm learning a lot of things on the fly. I'm learning a lot of, um, you know, I'm I'm not a I'm not a certified CFO, but yet here I am learning spreadsheets and numbers and things like that. So there's a lot of things I'm just learning right in the fire of mixers. And you keep learning, you know, because yeah. everything evolves, everything changes. So that's yep. that's great that you're open to that. When did you when did you start the company? How long has it been going? Yeah, so we started in okay, so we started in the very, very end of 2019, but then it sat for one year. Um, I live, I moved back to Europe. So we got the, the product all done. We got it launched. And then I moved back to Europe because my husband was playing basketball. It was then in 2020 and we all know 2020. <laughs> what yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah. So I was living in Spain at the time. Um, and the pandemic shut down Spain completely and we were locked down for two months. And finally we made the call to just travel home from Europe and leave that life behind, which was really, really tough, honestly, because that was not our plan. Uh, We would have planned to stay over there playing for probably five more years. But we came home um, in May of 2020, and here we are. My husband, we've walked away from what our income was. We walked away because our kids were living a life that we weren't really loving. We wanted to come home to Utah, Um, and we wanted them to be able to play uh, go to school and play Mm. sports and do things that kids thankfully have been able to do here. And our friends in Europe weren't even close to going back to any of that. Um, So then that was in 2020 that I decided I have this little bit of a company. It's just organically sitting there. I would share a little bit on social media, which is so powerful. But then it was June of 2020 that I decided to go all in on mixers and have been full time since and have built a little team and yes, we're having that's a blast. So incredible. Mid 2020, you're like, I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this and I don't really know what to do, but here we go. Here we go. And yeah. look where you are now. Um, do you have any advice for women? And let's talk about women in business a little bit yep. too, but other women wanting to start a business. And Absolutely. Where do you, what do you do? What's the first step? Yeah, I think something that women are really, really great at is overthinking. And we want things to be absolutely perfect because we have fantastic ideas. Um, But if I could encourage women, it is to just get started. Your idea can revolve with time. You can improve with time. But spending so much time um, working on this perfect idea, the perfect packaging, the perfect website, the perfect team around you. The perfect product. The perfect product. Exactly. It's, It's not ever going to be perfect. And so if you can just get started and improve as you go and be quick to improve, Mm -hmm. it's a whole lot better than wasting so much time waiting on the perfect moment because it's never going to come. Gosh, that's so good because you think in your mind, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to plan. It's going to take me a couple years to just get this perfect thing. And I'm going to, you know, just not even do anything until it can be perfect. And it's like, no, you, you, I imagine Mm -hmm. you learn 
while doing it. Well, yeah. you know, you learn it live there. time. You learn live time and you do one thing and that launches and you realize, okay, we need to go back and improve it. And I think just the biggest thing is being willing to improve, mm-hmm. being willing to implement change. It goes a lot further than just waiting and waiting and waiting for something to be perfect. Yeah. Because it's never going to be, right? Yeah. Um, what? Let's talk about women, being a woman in business mm-hmm. and how it is. Like, do you feel pressure? Do you feel, mm-hmm. like, how do you feel about that? Um, being a woman in business has been very interesting. I'm so grateful for a couple of things. So I was raised in a home where um, I was taught what respect feels like. I have a father and I have a brother that absolutely treated me with respect, treated me um, in a way that I knew personally that I could go after anything I wanted and that I was capable of doing anything Mm -hmm. I wanted um, and that I had good ideas. And so I was raised in a home where I knew the feeling of respect and what that should feel like coming from a man. And I also have a fantastic husband. But uh, my, the reason why that's so important to me is because having a dad that is, is a successful businessman and being raised by him, I then know what to expect when I go into business meetings around businessmen. And I have had so many fantastic uh, opportunities. Men have been so supportive of mixers. Um, I feel like a lot of men are really jumping in on mixers because they love that this can help their the women in their lives, their daughters, their wives, yeah. their, you know, whatever. However, I have had a few, <laughs> a few tough times where I have had to identify this is disrespect. Mm-hmm. And this is not something I'm okay with. I will not meet with this person again. This person is not worth my time because this is this feels disrespectful and I'm not being taken seriously. And I'm so happy to tell you that that's been very like rare. Good. Very rare. Good. And I feel very supported by men. But there is something about just, I, I appreciate knowing what respect feels like so that then I know how to also look for that in the yeah. workplace. Your dad helped build confidence. Totally. Too, yes. Which is so important to have. And yeah. then you can be an amazing example for your own kids and your girls. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I, I always tell my girls, I'm like, girls, <laughs> you can depend on a man, but you better be Miss Independent too. <laughs> no, I'm so grateful. I, I'm grateful for my husband too, because since we went and played basketball for all those years, I was able to personally invest in mixers. And that's why I've gotten to where we are is because of a supportive husband that took a chance on me as well and my ideas so takes a team absolutely takes a team anything you can tease that's like coming up or coming out or are you working on things maybe you can't say yeah oh okay so one of our oh this will be a big tease are you ready yeah we're (laughs) ready right here fresh (laughs) i might get in trouble for saying this you don't need to we don't want you to get in trouble no 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 i love it i love it um so one of our top selling products her greens it's a delicious product it you get i told you it's you get those 14 different um vitamins and minerals from greens we are launching some new flavors of that product Ooh. in just a couple months. And people have been requesting new flavors for like six months because they love it so much and they drink two to three a day. So they're like, can we get more flavors? Because I don't want to stop drinking. Yes. So we've been hard at work developing some new flavors and giving you know that some time. And like we said, trial and error, we're making sure we get the right flavor down. So yeah. we're excited. We're going to launch that in the upcoming couple months. That's exciting. Yeah. That really is exciting. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, oh my course. gosh. Okay. So. Um, We end every interview with what we call the fresh five. And there are five questions that I'm going to quickly ask you. You can kind of just say what's ever on the top of your head. Oh, dear. Here we go. Oh, yeah. The pressure's on. Uh Um, Favorite place to travel? Ooh. Um, I love Europe because it's where we lived for so long. But I honestly love Spain. I love the coastal cities of Spain. And anyone that asks me where to go in Europe, I'm like, make sure you hit up the coastal cities in Spain. So like yeah. the south of Spain. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Um, favorite holiday? Oh my gosh, that's so hard for me to answer because I love holidays. Uh, do you go all out on holidays? I do. I know. I do. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Halloween and I'll tell you why. M- Christmas is so magical mm-hmm. and I love Christmas with kids. But Halloween, there is something so fun to me about dressing up. I love costumes, and my kids go all in, too. So Halloween. Halloween. And you get free candy. It's like a kid's dream come true. Yes, and I love to do all the, like, creepy foods and things for my kids. So Cute. Anyway. Very cute. Okay, speaking of food, what's your least favorite food? What's something that you're like, uh -uh, Mm uh-uh, I'm not doing that? Do you Mm -hmm. have a least favorite food? Yeah, I'll tell you. 
because one time I had to fake and I had to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> we were living in Spain and we were at this beautiful restaurant with a lot of like management from my husband's team. And they were just excited to take us to this fancy dinner. And a bowl was placed in front of me. I'm of, scared. Oh, I, oh my I'm word. I'm scared. Carrie, you, oh. <laughs> I'm like sweating thinking about it. No. A bowl was placed in front of me of all these baby eels. <gasps> and they were like in this soupy, sludgy stuff. And I had to eat that bowl you, of baby eels. You did it. And I oh, I man. tried so hard. I think I ate like three bites. And then I was like, if I continue to be a good sport, I won't last the rest of the dinner. I showed that I was willing to try. Mm -hmm. And then I just so kindly like pushed it aside. But I still think about how I felt with that in front of me. And like, if that were, happen were to happen to me again, I think I would just like kill over and die right there. I It was so bad. Girl, you can get through anything yeah. if you've eaten a bowl of baby eels. Yeah. I'm really proud of you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm really proud that you just like, you just tried it. You, yeah. that's, that's all you can do sometimes. Yeah. Um, what do you have left on your bucket list? Oh, so many things. Oh my word. Um, I would love to take my kids on an African safari. Fun. Yeah. I would love for them to go and see all those beautiful animals, you know, in, in real life. In the wild. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. And also just a really wild, fun trip around Asia would be fun. Oh, how cool. That would be so cool. Okay. The last one. What is your current obsession? Is there anything that you're like, whether it's a TV show or, a, you know, a snack or... You know, anything that you, like, anything. your current obsession. What are you obsessed about right now? Well, do you watch Netflix? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's the longest title, but I binge-watched it over the weekend. Okay. The girl in the window next door to the girl in the window. Okay. Please tell me you watched it. It was up on, we, I haven't, I'm gonna but I know I'm going to get the name so about. that I can tell people the real name. It was up on the screen. You know how they, like, preview it? The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. That's the title of the show on Netflix. How was it? Is it a oh, movie? Is it a series? My gosh. What is it? It was a series. It's an eight episode series. They're 20 minutes, so you can like fly through them. Is it like a mystery? Yes. So it sounds and like. it blew my mind. Actually, no, I'm not gonna get nope, I'm not gonna say anything. But okay. go and watch so it. So watch it. Yeah. I and I don't it. really I don't really get that into shows, but this one sucked me right in. I love a good mystery too. Yeah. Like a, give me dateline all day long. Yeah, me too. Okay. Oh my gosh, you and me <laughs> two peas in a pod. I love that. We could just binge watch all of it. Okay. Uh -huh. Jess, it's been so fun getting to know you and getting to talk with you. And if we want to order some mixers or follow you and follow your journey, where can mm -hmm. we go? Yeah, you can follow mixers, M-I-X-H-E-R-S, on Instagram or at mixers.com. Or you can come hang out with me personally. I'm just Jess Toulson, J-E-S-S-T-O-O-L-S-O-N. And she is the kindest person. Well, Congrats to all your you success, are Jess. Thank we, you so we much. We're so happy to have you here. And once again, we love that you listen to our podcast, Fresh Off the Set. Please rate, review, and subscribe. And we will see you next week. Congrats, you made it to the end. If you want to continue to freshen up your day, you can watch us on Fresh Living every weekday on CBS Channel 2 in Utah at 1 o'clock. You can also watch us on our YouTube channel, KUTV Fresh Living, and follow us on social media. We will see you next week.